Audacious Kids Online. Today is our final in our God's Amazing Plan series. So I'm so glad you are with us today. And I'd like to introduce to you not just one, not two, but three of our incredible Audacious Kids who are here with me today. Here they are, the Godwin girls, the Godwin sisters. And can you tell everyone at home your names? Ruth. Esther. Praise. We have Ruth, we have Esther, and we have Praise. Now girls, I need to know, who's the cheekiest out of you three? Praise. Praise. Praise, is this true? Yeah. Yeah, Ruth, can you tell me, what does she do that's cheeky? Once when we were all supposed to go to bed, she went out of her bed and she was still playing with her stuff. Oh, she was a little bit cheeky. Now also, do any of you snow? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Praise. <gasps> Praise. Praise! Your sisters are getting you today. Oh, the truth is out. You snort like really loud. Praise? Do you snort yeah. really loud? Yeah. Like, could somebody in another room hear you? Yeah. Okay, girls, for, uh, Esther, Ruth, can you tell me what it sounds like? It's really, really loud. Can you show me, like, <laughs> kind of vibe? <laughs> Wow, so that's kind of like a sleeping horse. <laughs> wow, that's what you sound like. Well, I've got a few questions. So everyone at home can find out a little bit more about you three. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather have McDonald's or pizza? McDonald's. McDonald's. <gasps> All three of you are McDonald's. Okay. Now, would you rather... Okay. Would you rather get pooed on by a seagull flying by... Or stung on the bum baby? Stung, stung baby. baby. Oh, really? Well, that's a Esther, what did you say? Stung baby. Stung the bum baby. Let me tell you, that hurts. Wow. Well, girls, thank you for um, being honest right now. Can you tell everyone at home what we've got coming up? Timeless truth. Timeless truth. Timeless truth. This is our finale. I hope you've been learning it at home and got your moves down and the words in the right order we're going to go there now jeremiah 29 verse 11.
was fantastic. That was great. I loved it. She loved it, I loved it, and I hope you at home loved it too. And that is such an incredible memory verse to remember. So remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and it will really encourage you every time you read it. Now, today is our finale in the games. So we're gonna head over to Keith and see which contestant is going to face for the final week, the Vault of Doom behind me. Let's see. Super duper! Thank you guys! So good to be here live in the building today and we're going to go to another level today. We've got our three teams here ready to battle it out and one of them is going to get the biggest gunging ever in our season finale. And so they have got two teams, have got two chances to win safety. But before we find out what those chances are, let's meet the teams! For the green team, Isaac and Tracy. For the red team, Neve and Evie. For the blue team, Era and Anne. Okay teams, I hope you're ready to wrap this thing up because if you're the team left sleeping, you're gonna find yourselves mummified in the vault covered in slime. Because challenge one is called Mummy Wrap. And in front of you is a roll of tissue paper and you must make your grown up into the best mummy you can. You've got 60 seconds and the team with the best coverage will win safety from the gunging. Okay, if you're ready to mummify, then let's go in three, two, one, go! Okay, let me see what the technique is going to be. Remember, it's all about the coverage. Let's see how you can go. And um, turning their mummy into a mummy. I love it. And um, uh, no cheating there, mummy. No helping out. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, oh. We're red team, we've got some kind of technique going. A bit too much enthusiasm there, Isaac. You've got to take your time. Keep going. It's almost like you want to wrap your mummy up permanently. Oh, keep going. Keep going. That's it. You've got a good steady way. There's only 20 seconds left. So see if you can get some. Uh, get it up around their face. That's what we want. That's what, the, that's what your fans want to see. You've got 10 seconds left. Oh, good effort there, Isaac. Excellent. Okay, three. Two, one, uh, stop, stop mummying, stop mummying. Okay, place the roll down on the floor. I'm gonna come and inspect. Okay, let me see if I can see from over here. Got very good coverage on the red. Blue team, you just wanted to not get your feet wet, right? I see, you've just gone for solid mummy boots. I like that. And green team, yes, you managed to protect the face. That is good. I think purely on coverage, we're gonna have to award it to the green team. Well done, green team. You are now safe from today's Gunjin. And it's gonna be between the red team and the blue team to battle it out to see who is getting gunged today. And the challenge that they need to win is called Baby Rattle. Okay, each team in front of you are two giant baby rattles. When the timer starts between you, you must empty the contents from one side into the other. Simple as that. First team to complete both rattles, or when 60 seconds, whoever's done the most will win and be safe from the gungeon, and the other team will find themselves in the vault. Okay, blue team, red team, get yourself ready because your 60 seconds starts now. Okay, it's all about solid technique here. And you've got to keep going once you get through. And keep going. Keep going, give it some welly. Make sure you hold it in the middle. A bit of cheating going on from the blue team there. Keep going, keep going. 30 seconds left. Keep going, give it some welly. Come on, red team. We got 20 seconds. Come on, blue team, don't give up. Keep going, 15 seconds. All right, last 10 seconds, give it some welly. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop bubbling. Okay.
okay, pull them down on your spots and make your way back to your stations. And I will measure up and see what we've got here. Let me just see, it was good. Oh no, it's falling over. Okay, I think we have got a clear winner on the blue team. However, I did notice some cheating technique from the blue teams. Teams were supposed to hold it in the middle, and yet I spotted the blue team swinging it around her head like this. And so I am going to disqualify the blue team and award the winners as the red team, which means blue team, you are getting gunged today. That is going to be awesome. Get yourself ready of that. And of course, no audacious kids would be the same without getting our praise on them. One of the reasons we love to praise is to help us focus on God's goodness rather than the many distractions around us. So let's put our worries to one side. Our schedule for the day can wait. Let's focus our minds on him. Stand up and get ready to praise our awesome savior. Let's praise. Anything you bring, and I'll sing it to you all day long. It goes like boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody now, boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Your word is so fresh, so fresh. Your word is so tasty, tasty. Your word is so fresh. Your word is so tasty. 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 T
Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, you don't me. Joshua, Genesis, Ruth. One, two, Samuel, one, two, Kings. One, two, Chronicle, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, and Psalms. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentation. Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, let me hear you go. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom. You say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody now, boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, and now we're taking you higher. Your word is so fresh. Your word is so tasty. tasty. Your word is so fresh. so fresh. Your word is so tasty. tasty. It goes like boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody now, boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts, Romans, one to Corinthians. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. Colossians, one to Thessalonians. One Timothy, two Timothy, Titus, Philemon. Hebrews, James, one two Peter, one two three John. Two Revelations. Your word is so fresh. Your word is so tasty. Your word is so fresh. Your word is so tasty. It goes like boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody now, boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Extra, extra, read all about it. Dr. Diablo and Great Gregory locked in the museum, trying to solve the puzzle of the mystery chest of God's future plans. Dr. Diablo, we've been trying to unlock this mystery box of God's future plans for weeks now. And it's pretty clear that all the mysteries relate to God's plans. And well, I think together, all the mysteries contained within have come to the point where we need to unlock this chest together. What do you say? No. I beg your pardon? No, I won't do it. I will not work with you, great Gregory. Every week you do the same thing. I solve the mystery, I take the box, then I've got to bring it back to you because of one of your tricks. I'm not going to work with you. Rufus, let's go. No, I'll do it. What? We've been working for this for so long. <sighs> oh, I've done it, I've done it. Get out of the right way, you buffoon. I've done it. I have solved the great mystery, haven't I? Oh, I've looked, I'm dead. Yes. Empty? Can't be. No, let me see. It's a false bottom. You're we need to crack bottom. the last clue. Look, it even says this is the last clue here in Greek. Let's study the box, study the box. You see, we've got the ocean on two sides with a gap in the middle. Hmm. I wonder what that can relate to. Oh, it probably relates to another riddle, which leads to another riddle and another riddle. Never-ending riddles. If this was a TV show, I'd have stopped watching in about episode three. Yeah, maybe it's got to be the Red Sea. The story of Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses' people were slaves to the Egyptians and God sent Moses to rescue them. And after several plagues, the Pharaoh said yes, and they were released. I wish I was released. Oh. They went 
on their way and then Pharaoh changed his mind and started chasing them down with the army and they were stuck in an impossible situation. They faced the Red Sea. But God did a miracle and parted the Red Sea and allowed Moses and his people to pass through on dry ground. And then the sea crashed in over the Egyptians. It was a... Uh, wait, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I think God's plans in our lives sometimes don't make sense. No, 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 I won't believe it. You know entirely how to open this chest. I'm not going to fall for all of your tricks. You just want the glory for yourself. I... Don't mind who opens it. What? Really? All I want was for the box to be opened. Whether it's me who opens it, or you, or whoever. I just want us to find the truth and share it with all humanity. So, so, so you're letting me win? Sure. You're letting me win? <laughs> oh, my victory lap is tastes so sweet. I can't believe I'm the winner. Wait a minute. Letting me win doesn't make any sense. Gosh, you did it! You did it! I could hug you! Don't be an imbecile. Well, let's look inside. Step back. I'm the winner. Remember me. I'm the one who's going to get all the glory here. Anyone going to look inside? It's, it's, it's paper. It's all that. Just a rubbishy piece of paper. It says... What's it say? By opening this chest, you have unlocked all the tools to become the person you're meant to be. What sort of treasure is this? What an absolute waste of time. I can't spend that. I get no glory for this. I am... Oh. No, you know, I do feel like I've been changed. Of the things that we've learned over the past few weeks of God's plans for a life, you don't need treasure when you get to know that. Don't need treasure. You let me win on purpose, didn't you? That's not a real win. That's not a real victory. I am going to get the real victory. What I am going to do from this day forth, I am going to go through this Bible. I am going to find all of God's plans, yes. And then I'll be a winner, won't I? <laughs> what are you two idiots smiling about? I'll be the best me I've ever been. Yes, you will. Yes, you will indeed. <laughs>
Can you imagine being face to face with a fish or an octopus walking through? Amazing, the Israelites were able to cross safely, but the Egyptian army was not about to back down. Get them! The Egyptians started to follow the dry ocean path that the Israelites had walked on. But as soon as all the Israelites were across and had reached the other side, God let the walls of water come crashing down. The waves swept away the entire Egyptian army. Help! Could you have ever imagined this kind of plan? Well, God did. It's insane, but awesome. We often have good ideas of thoughts about how things should go. But God is an ultimate, crazy, epic, incredible master of plans. Perhaps if you find yourself in a situation and you don't know what to do, ask God to make a way and lead you. Maybe you are in that place right now and you feel scared like the Israelites did. Then let me pray for you and I want to encourage you to keep talking to God about it and listening to what he has to say. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you love me and care for me. I am so glad that you gave Moses a way through the Red Sea. Your plan was totally crazy, but so good. I pray for all my friends and audacious kids right now and all the kids watching right now that you would make a way for them through their tricky situations. And I pray that it would be epic. Thank you that you have a great plan for us. Help us to trust you. Amen. What an incredible day we've had in church, everyone. I'm so glad you have been with us. I'm so glad you girls have been with me today. But let's explore the story of Moses together this week. Don't forget that God's plans seem crazy sometimes. And as it was for Moses, I'm sure that sometimes the same for you and for me too. Now, girls, it's our finale today of God's Amazing Plans. What's it time for? Gunging! Gunging time! And who, Ruth, is getting gunged today? Ara from the blue team. Ara from the blue team. Ara, how are you feeling? Oh, she's feeling a little bit scared of the green slime coming from above from the vault. Well, Ara, it's time. Keith, you ready? Oh, yes. He's ready. Let's count them down in three, in two, in one. Four. 